Hello and welcome to the Age of Empires 2 Attila campaign and we are gonna start the second mission, the Great Ride. Now that the memories had stirred, Father Armand seemed eager to tell his tale. He explained how the Huns, like the other barbarians, had a style of warfare dramatically different from the ancient Romans or my own Franks. The Huns would charge as one group, often firing arrows as they came, and then suddenly retreat again. For the nations of Europe, who were used to forming up lines and columns, and even issuing challenges for personal combat, this was an aberration. They were unable to comprehend warfare in this manner. Barbarians did not conquer lands. They did not try and hold and colonize the cities they attacked. Instead, they ravaged and pillaged, and took their loot back to their camps. By that time, there were two Roman empires, the government having decided that the Roman lands were simply too vast for one city to manage effectively. Attila and the Huns began a series of raids into the Eastern Empire. So we're gonna raid the Eastern Empire, I guess. Raid the Roman villages. Once you have enough resources to build a war base, you can field an army against the Romans. And each of the small villages has resource. Okay. Roman Empire is fielding their army. We must hasten with our raid so that we have enough resources to train our own army. I thought you already had an army. Why would you invade someone with uh, an army? Okay, so we're gonna hit the drone, I guess. Let us raise the Sophia town center with our darkens and see what loot we may find. Sophia. Let's see what loot we will find inside. We need to first find the town center. Rescue our Han brothers held at the castle before they are executed. Oh no. Okay. Successfully hit and run everything. Is there an opening to this place? No. Nope. Doesn't seem to be. No, there isn't. 
will enjoy that close, uh, close the campment. I won't be bothering you anymore. That one orator hit though, did a lot of damage. I didn't expect here to be in four hearts. I mean food when I raised the town center. We're gonna get closer to Constantinople then. If we're go closer to the sea, we'll turn the possibility. Hans do not need houses. Let us burn these to the ground and then take these villagers with us. Okay, so we're gonna get villagers from this one. Somewhere nearby, we should be cautious. Something else. Dude, that's a lot of new here. I didn't get any villager yet. Maybe I will get with the last house. Now these peasants will do our bidding. Let us find a suitable location to establish our camp. I don't have any food. Okay, let's see this. What is this? Something is blocking. Am I not supposed to go here? 
clear base of passage somewhere. I got one villager from the plundering guy who was making. The Scythians are gonna be inside the forest. But I can. Oh, so maybe it's like when I make a base there and happen to chop down the trees, it's gonna be bad for me. Uh, makes sense in some way. I haven't found any wood yet. Going to settle here. Roman gold. There is no other metal that shines as sweetly. Ah, oh, he gave me stone too, so let's scout that area now. It does not need food, and I guess I'm gonna get it from Nysus. Seems like the most reasonable place because of the hey, food nearby. But I guess the Scythians are gonna be inside this forest, so I need to watch out. Then again, he has so few score, so he probably doesn't even have anything. Oh wait, he's he's my ally, so I need to chop this forest. I guess. Seems to be a blockade there, so maybe it's a bug. I'm not sure. Quite an old bug, then do 16 years and still not fixed. Amazing. Oh, that's a lot of gold.
Hey, Queen's here. Nice. The town of Nysus produces the best lumber in the region. Let us take all we can by destroying these lumber camps. Finally make a uh, town center. Beyond this moat is the Roman fort. We should avoid it until we are ready. Roman fort. Okay, we can... I do not like the looks of this. Yeah. Well, skeletons in this forest. You are most foolish to trespass here. If you bring us six of your villagers, we will make it worth your while. They sound like witches. They are wolves. Spooky. I think there one. There might be may, maybe one more there. Passages there, so or a beeline like we think. I know uh, one hundred twenty-five population. Now that we have a base, we must train many riders to withstand the Roman attack and then go on the offensive. So we're then gonna attack now. It's true. At least they don't have to make houses. Uh, let's take this song. Let's scout across the bridge. Could work the farms, I guess. I can click the farms in Fog of War, that's new. Maybe I could take this place down even with Optic Stormy. Maybe not. Probably not good, I think. Oh, 
Six of you and stone. I haven't noticed. Okay, it's increasing. It seems like the Eastern Roman Empire is going to be the same. Slowly increasing. You're gonna go mine the gold. Send anything there? I swear I did. Well, what sense do you Seems like there is something here. I'll make siege monitors so I'm just to create a castle age. Can Hans make conigers anyway? No, take on so never mind. I can't even make conigers. Everybody's working. Always fun to go for castle with the uh, colors. 
Point I will have to get rid of the villagers at this place. This time I won't delete them, but they will get sacrificed. I guess. Because those things are witches there. Scythian women. I swear those are witches. They're gonna feed their wolves. <sighs> Okay, not far. Let's make a map right there. This is intriguing me. See what's be behind that tree. One more there, so these guys are gonna get attacked. If we attack the Roman fort with too few soldiers, we will surely die. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Or maybe not. Just uh, like a troll.
Holy shit. Holy shit. You just needed to actually make six villagers and nothing else. Get that. This is not the units to kill. The walls are regenerated HP. Easy peasy. And the parts can just open the gate and destroy the town. The Roman city of Nisus was erased from the earth. The Huns so devastated the place that when the Roman ambassadors passed through to meet with Attila, they had to camp outside the city on the river. The riverbanks were covered with human bones, and the stench of death was so great that no one could enter the city. Many cities of Europe would soon suffer the same fate. The ambassadors that the Romans sent to Attila concealed an assassination attempt. Somehow, Attila knew of the attempt on his life and sent the terrified assassin back to his emperor with the gold he had been paid to do the deed in a sack tied to his neck. Following such a demonstration, the Huns had no difficulty convincing the Eastern Roman Empire to start paying them a tribute, protection money, to stave off the inevitable Hun invasion. So, with this demonstration, the Huns have seen to become powerful, more powerful than the Romans, and to even pay tribute to the Huns. Okay, the next one is gonna be Walls of Constantinople. Interesting. Are we gonna sack Constantinople? I don't think so. Constantinople is quite a big city and strong city. I don't think it's gonna happen. Well, but this was for mission. This was mission two, the Great Ride.